Whoa, definitely need sunglasses for that. Good morning, comrades. And although this uh, may look as a start of vlog, it's not going to be a vlog today. I'm going to talk you through some fleet updates. And let's start first of all, which is probably the title of this video, the i30N, the car that I have uh, chosen a while ago to be a replacement of the Sub 7 Up, which is still like cuddling together with Nancy over there. Anyway, Hyundai i30N, N stands for Nürburgring because the car has been de developed on the Nürburgring and for the Nürburgring, so it was pretty much no brainer, especially since the car is receiving all the appraisal from all the automotive journalists or all around the world for a good reason. I still haven't driven it myself, but I'm very confident for, uh, about what other people say and moreover again I told it in the previous video when I was actually thinking about the car because I see the prototype of it going on the track like every single day Every single day, so it must be good and uh, in comparison like all the other big brands You just see them like okay, like one time per week like and they do some data gathering and that's it So I had a lot of confidence uh, in the brand and thereby but anyway long story short I've cancelled the order. Why? Because I actually already said it in the comments uh, earlier in the in the video because a lot of you are asking like so what's up are you gonna get it are you gonna get it? And the thing is since I got the approval to uh, drive the ring taxi or should I say apex taxi because ring taxi is trademarked by another company so uh, again explanation why we wouldn't be using this name in the future when we make an announcement because of capitalism reasons but uh, yeah since i'm gonna be driving a very high performance car on a daily basis the bmw m3 competition Shermer gt spec why would i need a performance car seriously which costs uh, like thirty thousand euros and on top of that would be probably another 10 15 000 euro worth of mods on it if i get to drive a pretty fast car on a daily basis and every single time the track is open i will have to drive and then probably yeah, I would rather spend time fishing or doing something quiet on my time off instead of driving the racetrack. How silly it may sound to a majority of you, um, but this is how it is. Um, so this is a, just a very short explanation that the, I've cancelled it, but a huge shout out to Autohaus Kerkau in Einbeck and especially to Mark who gave me amazing deal on the Hyundai 30 wheel almost actually really ordered it but then like the well not the rumor but our decision came out that they would go for a taxi license and eventually we got it and finally i only had to wait if i would get the uh, driver uh, driver approval from the nervicring that i get to drive it because there are certain qualifications and they said okay you can drive and thereby it was obvious but still if you're looking for a Hyundai, make sure to check out the Outhouse Kerkau. You can check it, their contact details in the description below because they can give you an amazing deal and people are just like very so nice to work with. Now, since we're talking about fleet updates, let me uh, tell you something else. I can go through the... Yeah, we, we can go quickly through the fleet that we have over here. So, first of all, M2. It's actually done. This is as it is. It says as it is. It may get a spoiler, maybe we don't know, but other than that, it will remain as it is. Tim's car. I'm picking up the JRZ RS Pro two-way suspension somewhere this week. It's almost ready for him. And then the casual upgrades, weight reduction, bucket seats, uh, the suspension, like I told you, probably some brake upgrades, and that's it. Polo will remain in its current form as our one of the entry-level cars um, maybe change of tires change of brakes well we already tested stop tech brakes and they're amazing so there's not much that we are gonna do with that Tim's daily car nothing to mention Seat Cooper you already all know it it already has the cage the seats the harnesses um, picked up well can I show it no well you already know it I mean picked up the suspension for it already when was it? Last week. So we're going to install it probably tomorrow. Um, Brake-wise, it's fine. Probably going to get stop tech discs because these ones, hmm, yeah, well, same were on the Polo and they were cracking, especially the combination of, uh, well, with uh, endless brake pads. So there is that. Yeah, then another car here, Bombi. You all know it by now. Um, the next step is the brakes, the, all the brake upgrades that I bought for Diana for Christmas. And the reason for for it, why we're still waiting with it, is because of all the salty roads. We don't want to destroy the brakes, or at least, well, you know what I mean. Uh, let's keep them as nice as possible. So we just wait another two weeks, hopefully. 
maybe a month until everything is fine because you can see mm, rusty 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 uh, because of all the salt yeah tire upgrade probably seats definitely and the cage uh, suspension and then it's done but it will, it will take a couple of months until we get there going back to Tim by the way tomorrow he's going to UK to pick up his 235 I uh, M BMW that he has. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe also uh, like you rem remember like last time you said, oh, my next car is gonna be GT3 RS. Maybe he has one on other. Maybe with something we don't know. Maybe it's not only the best looking mechanic hashtag no homo, but also the most uh, secretly rich mechanic of Nurburgring. Who knows? Um, well, the up everyone knows it is gonna remain as it is. It's, it's, it's gonna be a rental car. You can all rent it for 80 euro a lap, including fuel on the track. Nancy. Tom's car is getting suspension and a couple of like pushing upgrades, I think seats as well. So uh, yeah, we'll be ready for track spec. The 218 is, is yeah, what? It's received a new suspension already. It's gonna get the um, uh, other tires, other wheels as well. Tires Nankang AR1s because we're very happy with them. Wheels Team Dynamics because you can see with the new suspension, well, the offset is a bit meh. Then we have the GT86. One of the most frequently asked questions is uh, what are you going to do with the engine? When are you going to replace it? You're not gonna believe it in two days. Yeah, it's happening. We'll bring it to our team motorsport because we don't have any time to do it ourselves. So we're gonna tow it there. And Alex is gonna just like open up the, the engine and see if it's fixable. If not, we're just gonna buy a new engine and that's it. Now inside, chum chum chum. You already seen this before that the wrap is off. This car gonna get some checkups and we will see what it's going to be. It's not going to be the full Shermer built car that w was initially planned. It's going to be something else, something just like, a, like I said, minor checkups, and we will see. Maybe it will definitely be a taxi car on track days. Maybe it will be a, a rental car sometime. We will see, nothing spectacular. M4, everyone knows it. Suspension got installed uh, over there. Beautiful, fabulous, magnificent. Gonna get a spoiler, probably. Class fourth pack inside. Oh, look at the placement of the reservoirs. That's beautiful. That's fabulous. This car, the only thing that we're gonna get is a cleanup, because we did some rolling shots, and after that, haven't washed it. Hmm. Now, the most important bit is over here. And this is the car what a lot of people have been commenting about uh, regarding, uh, okay, what are you gonna do with it? What's up with it? And we said, yeah, okay, we're gonna build it, rebuild it. And yes, this is still the case, but at this point it's more of a burden than actually a project. So yesterday Robert said, you know what, Misha, can you maybe like make a video and see if someone wants to buy it in this current state? The car will be just like fair and square with you. You know this car from my like very early vlogs, from my very first vlogs from two years ago when it was be when it belonged to Daniel before Robert bought it and installed a cage in it. He bought it for thirty one thousand um, as it was, um, excluding the wheels because you remember it had full casing of wheels on it, but still with a big brake kit on it, a Krapovich exhaust and uh, a KW club support suspension on it. So KW Club Sport suspension, like I told you, and engine, it looks, well, it's only missing airbox, but we have it lying around, so that's no issue. So the car was bought for 31,000 euros, as it was, and another 6,000 euros was invested in the cage. You can see here a bit of more details of the cage. The inside was painted as well, together with the cage. Um, and at this point, the car can go uh, as it is, for 30,000 euros. So like close to 10,000 euro loss, maybe even over it if we count all the other stuff. The only thing that you would need is to get yourself a set of wheels um, because, 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 yeah, those are actually rear wheels on the front because of the big brake disc and the offset. Um, and a set of seats as well. We don't have seats for that car at this point. Uh, but if you go on any website, like for example in Germany, the, uh, the E3, E92, M3 start at around 30,000 euros with re relatively high mileage of 100,000 euros, uh, 100,000 kilometers, I'm sorry, and no upgrades. This one has all the aero upgrades, a crap exhaust, big brake kit, 
the cage, KW Class 4 suspension. So if you're looking for a cheap winter project or summer project, this is something you should definitely consider. The only thing that, um, yeah, well, the steering is on the right-hand side. So this is something, but you all know by now already from our vlogs, this is actually nothing that, that really bothers people. You get used to it after a day of driving, so that's no issue. If no one wants to buy it for this price, don't offer us like 20,000 euros or 25, uh, or, or don't try to be a joker. Uh, we will just wait till next year when we'll give, put it somewhere else away and then assemble it and then sell it at a higher price. But this is something I believe is worth mentioning. Yeah, I hope we can make someone happy with it and we will see this car again driving on the Nürburgring either this year or maybe not even on the Nürburgring. I mean, no, nah, actually it should be. I mean, it's a proper ring tool. If you're interested in this baby or you have any other questions uh, regarding cars, regarding driving cars, then shoot us an email. You can find all the contact details in the video description. And see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.